guy over here, excuse me, is on this motor control. Yes? This is Mr. Lenny. Mr. Lenny gave me a lot of problems today. <laughs> what are you doing there? Let's see. Uh, Lenny, you want to show him? Turn it on. This is where you learn to control motors and do troubleshooting. All right? He is showing, he had to come up with what they call a ladder diagram mm -hmm. and design it to control the motors. So he'll put that on. And then the motor's running. Just be a little better for quick safety places. And then he'll stop it from one location. He'll go to another one a second, as if simulating a second location. Press okay. it in. And then he'll shut it off with that particular switch. They must troubleshoot this. Now, excuse me. What are they looking for? Got trouble. Whatever. They have transformer, they have switch, they have relay, they have motor. Name it, it doesn't matter. Over here, excuse me, is we are having a trouble with the trouble. So we have a note on it. In this particular circuit, we put a fold in, we put faults in, random faults from a computer. Okay. They try to troubleshoot it. The problem is, we think now that actually one of the units in here is causing a problem. So tomorrow I have to pull the manufacturer and do it. That was another one of my students over there, right there, Bob, who's causing me to sweat that one out. <laughs> but you can see there's more complex wiring here right. for the ladder. So it, it starts out, crawl, walk, run, gets some complex, does some troubleshooting, and when you go next door to PLCs and the electronics, they're solid for that gentleman over there. <laughs>